seems these thieves definitely have a type. They like the Chevy Malibus. They also are targeting the Chevy Equinox. And once they find their target, they immediately make their way to the back window and they break this window because it doesn't set off the alarm. But what they're really after is up in the front seat here. They want the airbags in the car. And they're not just stealing the airbags, they're taking the entire steering wheel. When I looked up, I realized it was my back driver's side window was broken and glass all over the place. A woman in East Point says she woke up to discover her car broken into, but since she doesn't leave valuables in her car, she wasn't too worried. Not a big deal. Open the driver's side door and I had no steering wheel. East Point police say over May 2nd and 3rd, they alone took 11 reports of this exact thing happening. Thieves taking entire steering wheels, all for the airbags inside the steering wheel a trend that started when factories slowed down during the pandemic. That's when we started noticing a lot more of them coming in and with the shutdown, you know, it's just pretty hard to get the parts. A shortage of supply creates a black market for the airbags. Mechanics say the thieves in turn sell the stolen goods for a few hundred bucks to shops that won't ask questions. This is straight cash. You can take it to different shops that maybe will be able to buy that and give you cash for it immediately and then they can just go and put it in a car where this happened to them so even legitimate businesses are seeing about one or two customers a week with this issue but a lack of supply means their hands are tied and then it'll just sit in the back lot until we can get an airbag you know and it's sometimes like i said it'll be two three weeks to months leaving some victims forced to rent a car or find a place with an airbag or steering wheel on hand so what can car owners do to protect themselves put it in the garage, do something, maybe, you know, put it where there's lots of lights, put a camera, do whatever you can, tell your neighbors, tell whatever, you know, spread the word because it's just been going on a while. Yeah, and another tip that was offered is to buy an anti-theft device like a club, put that on your steering wheel, and there's even something called a disc lock that you can buy online, and you can put that right on your steering wheel. Just anything to deter a thief if they come across that, maybe they'll move on, try to find an easier target. Reporting live tonight, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Well, Dave, these thieves could be in and out in a few minutes. How much does it cost to repair the damage? Yeah, that's the thing. So just the airbag alone, that's going to run you anywhere two to three hundred dollars. But when you take out the entire steering wheel, that's a whole new can of worms. That's upwards of at least a thousand dollars when you factor in labor and getting all the parts and hooking up all the electronics in that steering wheel as well. It's a major undertaking. No question about it. All right, Dave. Thank you.